after a full year of dreaming about it and planning it and working on it, a uh, little girl and I are underway and uh, I'm solo and just awesome, awesome. Light winds today, today, and I had a bit of a fiasco getting started. Um, uh, we, the little girl was out on the mooring by herself uh, overnight um, and all day yesterday and there was high winds and heavy rain and the cleat uh, for the top of the mainsail, um, the halyard of, of that cleat, let go and flew to the top of the mast and so I had no, um, I had no halyard for my main, you know, for my mainsail. So what I did, I jury rigged, I had to get everything switched over to the other side of the mast, I, I jury rigged and right now uh, I am, uh, have my mainsail completely up, almost completely up, <laughs> using the, using the jib halyard. Uh, and it's working. Uh, Perhaps not quite as efficiently as the main halyard, but uh, we're uh, we're underway. So I will uh, get back to you a little bit later. We're we're going kind of slow right now, but uh, hey, we're underway, and that's I'm just so glad to be going solo. Well, we have super light wind, um, but now that we're on the outside, I, I just basically when we're in Katuit Harbor, there was just not enough wind to even maintain headway. So I went ahead and kicked on the motor uh, briefly just to get us on the outside. We got out of the channel and now we're out on Nantucket Sound, um, headed southwest and along the coast. And ultimately we're heading toward Wacoit uh, Bay for the night. And the sail is full, but man, it's just not uh, not very full. Well, it's, it's full, but let's put it this way. It's, it's not intense. <laughs> uh, we're not going real fast. So we'll see. Um, I do want to get there by nightfall, and right now it is 3, 3.25, uh, uh, so i got a couple of hours, and uh, let's see where it goes. Well, guys, finally we got some wind. I've been motoring for about the last half hour, and it's just a pain in the neck. I mean, who wants, when you got a sailboat, and a good one at that, that's my opinion, who in the world wants to motor? <sighs> finally, finally got some wind. Anyway. Let me turn this around uh, and uh, show you where we're, where we're headed. We're not going like a rocket ship, but at least we're moving. And uh, the wind said it was going to be oh, like 10, 10 to 12 today. And that's Right now, that's probably just about all we've got. But I'll tell you what. There, when we were in Katuit Harbor and coming out, we didn't even have that. I mean, we were lucky to have three or four knots wind, and it was just, we had the motor, no other choice. So, anyway, yeah, as you can hear the, the sail flogging, it's, it's, the wind is a little fluky even now. Anyway, well, I'll, I'll uh, get back to you a little bit later. Let's, we got to pay attention to this, the tiller and try to get this thing tightened up. One of those stupid power boats just went by, and every time they do, poor old little girl just rocks and rolls for about five minutes here. We're gonna go and be going through some quartering seas. Just, okay, I'll try to keep my attitude right. They have a right to be out here too, it's just that I don't like motors much. Since we're on the topic of sailing though, well, let me just give credit where credit is due. Um, I watch uh, Sam Holmes sailing and uh, what's the other one uh, how to sail how to sail oceans those two guys uh, just amazing Sam Holmes being a very young guy and uh, Kevin uh, who uh, does the uh, as a matter of fact he just, he just came back from Europe I think um, anyway I've been following their channels for forever and just really admire their solo skills and you know, you learn a lot, and uh, I, I just, I dearly love being out here all by myself, and just thoroughly, um, you know, it's, there's nothing like it, nothing like it. Well, the wind is really picking up, let's just hope it stays that way, because, uh, yeah, this, this makes me feel like we're actually getting somewhere, and uh, you know what? For my first time ever soloing, this is what I'm wanting right here. At least some really reasonable wins so that we can make some progress and not feel like we're just lollygagging. 
so hey <laughs> hey uh, at least i'm out here solo and i'm loving it loving it loving it well the wind has been pretty consistent for about the last still oh, 15 20 minutes here we are making progress along the shoreline here um i don't know all these communities i think this is papanessa over here and uh we're gonna we're gonna, all the way around that headland there and around the, the bend before we get down to uh Wacoit. Uh, but in the meantime, uh, let me just say this. For all you guys that have been soloing forever, just, I don't know if you remember it. <laughs> uh, for, for a guy that's soloing for the very first time, you know, this is, a, this is special for me. This is special for me. Um, I just absolutely love being able to be out here independent, doing my own sailing, running the motor when I need to, uh, and, and just, yeah, I mean, <laughs> it's fantastic, fantastic. I just, uh, I know some of you say, oh, what do you mean, solo, you know, big deal, you know, well, it is for me, uh, especially for this very first time I've ever done it. Well, the wind has picked up and we are kicking some butt right now, man, this is awesome. I think, I think this is what, entrance to a quake right here coming up but I'm not sure and I've got to sail past it anyway in order to go up and in just because of the direction of the entrance so I'm gonna just keep on sailing here for a minute and see if, uh, if this is this is what I'm thinking it is over here okay this is the problem with never having been here before I'm just gonna just keep an eye on it and see what see where that jetty is. It's a double jetty um, that you have to cut back up in. So anyway, I'm going to shut up here and pay attention to business. Coming into Wakoi Bay. We had a lot of heavy seas, high wind before we got in here. Let me tell you, coming in through that uh, that channel, wow, <laughs> very unnerving, very unnerving. But I did it. We're in Wakoit Bay, and you can see all the sticks up there. I, there's a lot of sailors up in there. Look at that. That's where I was headed. That's where I was told to go. And, uh, I'm going to have to find a place to put down an anchor and s spend the night. So, well, let's see how it goes. to finish out this voyage uh, under nothing but sail. There's tons of wind in here. <laughs> so, yeah, it's not going to be difficult. Um, when I get near the uh, anchor field, what I'll do is probably just go ahead and, and uh, put, the, put the nose up into the wind and, and take the sail down and then uh, load it the rest of the way in to find a spot. But, uh, right now, just sizzling along. <laughs> the, actually, this is some of the best sailing I've done today because uh, on the outside you're dealing with a lot of chalk. I mean, heavy waves, there's a lot of spray coming in over the bow. In here, at least here, it's almost like a lake in here. Uh, and uh, fairly, fairly uh, calm water that you be sailing through. Well, guys, we are anchored in Wakoit Bay. Uh, it's uh, six o'clock, I think, and uh, I chose not to go in with the anchorage field over here, but just uh, anchor a little bit further down, uh, where there's just almost well, there's, there's a nice big house there, but there's no, no, there's nothing besides that. It's just woods here, 
and I, I kind of like that and just being off from the woodland beach area anyway and I have no idea for dragging I don't think we are I've been watching it for a little while I will uh, check it later and uh, keep an eye on that buoy over there there's some sort of structure uh, floating over there I don't know if it's a barge facility but uh, I'm trying to keep an eye on that buoy over there and make sure that we stay about the same distance from it so anyway beautiful anchorage beautiful sunset going on it's uh, gonna be real pretty here before too long kind of breezy I'm gonna get a uh, warmer shirt on and then I'm gonna make some supper it's about time it's a long long voyage over here um, I'm just thinking it took me better part of three hours two and a half two and a half to three hours to get here and uh, yeah I'm glad to be here part of a, a dream come true well, wouldn't you know after uh, making the effort of getting here to McCoyt Bay um, I turned on my butane stove and apparently I'm out of gas and I only use it one time, so whatever. So what that means is I'm having my ravioli cold. But that's all right. We can deal. I'm starved. Ravioli cold and a nice slice of bread and butter, and we're good to go. So anyway, we're here, and that's the name of that game. It is a beautiful, beautiful night out here. Um, it's a, a little bit windy, but not bad, you know? And I think I'm, I'm going to be able to get a good night's rest before we start back tomorrow morning. And, um, and a dream has come true. The first half of it. Second half is tomorrow when uh, we make the sail back. And uh, let's hope that the wind is, well, the wind is going to be with us. Let's just hope it really comes through uh, and we get a good solid wind this time so that we don't end up having a motor all the way. The, the, the first part of what we did today had to be motor. But then the last part, boy, the wind just kicked in and it was sailing all the way. Fantastic. Enjoyed it out. Just enjoyed it a big time. Okay, so this is my Polaris software uh, that I used last year for the very first time when I was on my first night aboard a little girl uh, down up in Katuit. And uh, I, I, I checked just, just out of curios curiosity, I checked to see the accuracy dead on. And it here we go again. Um, so this is Wakoit Bay, right where I am tonight uh it's now about 11 o'clock and uh boy it just has it nailed that's that's exactly where i am up in the further up in the bay this down here where you see those these two lines i don't know if you can see this right right there that though that is one wicked channel to come in through that is lined with rocks on both sides and boy you you got to hit it right uh between those two markers and you can see where they are the, the where those pink arrows are sh showing you got to nail it right between those two markers going in through that uh you know into that channel and i mean the waves were just kicking going into there uh, and, and the wind was very very strong out of the northwest so i mean it was blowing you uh, against the the the, um, the right hand channel marker you know channel rocks but then as soon as you uh, made the bend where the uh, five foot mark is, you get up into this, then it gets a little calmer. But I got up into um, uh, up into Bacoit, uh, Bay and b the wind was just amazing. I, I just shut off my engine. I had the engine going getting in here. Ha you had to. You, you had no choice. I mean, if you without an engine, uh, you could very easily end up piling into the rocks. But anyway, once I get into Bacoit Bay, uh, the wind was so good, I just went ahead and shut off the engine and sailed all the way up uh, up uh, the bay. And let's see if I can come on to right where I am right now. That is dead on. And, um, yeah, it's been kind of rocking and rolling tonight. A lot of a lot of wind. And, you know, listening to the mast and the howling and the rigging and so forth. But uh, we're here. And it seems to be calming down right now. So I think I'm going to go ahead and turn in. And uh, we'll get out of here tomorrow morning. We're going to just sail right back up to Katuit. So, well, thank you for stopping aboard uh, Sailing Little Girl this evening. And uh, we'll let that shut it down. And we'll catch up with you guys first thing in the morning. Oh, 
this is where we were all night. Uh, very pleasant, quiet anchorage, except for the wind and the rocking and rolling a little bit, but just still a really nice place to be. Well, good morning, guys. Uh, we're just about to get underway. Uh, what time is it? Uh, about 6.20. Um, I got about a three-hour haul back up to Katuit, and I'm going to wait till I get there to grab some breakfast. I may, I got some donuts down here. I may eat a donut on the way. But other than that, um, I got, a, got the motor, uh, gas tank filled, um, got the sail all unwrapped. I need to do out one last little bit on it. And uh, then I think we're going to get underway. I got about three hours to get back up there. And uh, it's a pretty morning. I don't think we're going to get a lot of wind here at first, but uh, We'll just kind of get going and uh, enjoy the day as we go. Well, for better or for worse, I cut the motor. Uh, we do have wind, but it's at our back. And as a result, it doesn't feel like we're going, but we're going. So, uh, you know, it's that feeling of the, you know, apparent wind. You can't tell. Uh, you know, it's just kind of, you're, you're in it, and so you don't you really sense how fast you're going. Now, we're not going like a rocket, but at least we're at least we're moving along. And frankly, I'd rather do this than I would listen to the stupid motor. Kind of gone by it now, but that's uh, Martha's Vineyard right over there. You can see that just on the horizon line. Um, yeah, it's surprising how close it is to the bottom of the Cape. Um, I'm just uh, right behind me is is uh, the shoreline, the south shore of the Cape. Anyway, yeah. Martha's Vineyard. Well guys, voyage complete. Uh, I'm uh, back from my overnight uh, down to a quite uh, successful voyage. First time solo. So, excited about it. Uh, I've got a lot of footage and it's going to take me a while to go through this and get a couple of videos out. But anyway, I'm just happy about it. Uh, I'm going to call my wife and have her come pick me up. I got a lot of, uh, by the time she gets here, I'll maybe be done but i got a lot of stuff to clear out of the boat and and uh, take back to the landing so hey god bless good to, <laughs> uh, gl glad to report that uh, all is well we're, we're back in harbor and uh, it went fantastic <laughs> 